Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Celtics now just two wins away from another championship. Game two wasn't pretty, but the result's all that matters. C's winning game two of the NBA Finals last night, 105-98. Drew Holiday, he led the way. Had 26 points as the Green takes a commanding 2-0 series lead. Boston's now won nine straight playoff games. Sherry's shifting to Dallas now, game three, Wednesday night. Testimony resumes today in the Karen Reed murder trial. The defense wants to call an emergency room doctor who will say there is evidence John O'Keefe died from a bite from a German shepherd that lived inside the home at 34 Fairview. The dog was later rehomed by the Albert family. The prosecution says it was just notified of this witness six weeks into the trial and that it's unfair for them to have to prep for this witness now. Well, teenagers across the city of Boston will be able to go to the Y this summer for free. YMCA announced today that all Boston teens ages 13 to 19 will have free access this summer. The program is intended to provide young people with safe and productive activities during the months away from school. Time now for a check of your next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Jason Michael. Oh, swimming weather. I saw that on that video, Chris. Good morning, everybody. As we are making our way towards the afternoon hours, we're making positive headway towards some warming conditions moving back in. We're now in the mid to low 60s across the board here and eventually eroding away, becoming the mid to upper 70s later on today. We're likely going to have even more 80s move back in. So the long term forecast is going to keep some spotty rain chances around for Tuesday, also on Wednesday. But the good dose of rain is going to be arriving by Friday of this week. That is going to be moving along with a cold front that also could be a storm potential moving in with that as well. But a gorgeous weekend lies thereafter, especially for dad. So again, mid to upper 70s today, tomorrow, low 80s on Wednesday with a few shower chances moving on through mid to upper 80s by Thursday and certainly by Friday with heat and humidity increasing Saturday and Sunday. Just a beaut 50s in the overnight, low 80s in the daytime. Chris. Wow, looks great, Jason. Thank you. This has been a WBC News update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.